This episode of Distraction is sponsored by Landmark College, offering comprehensive support for students with learning disabilities, ADHD, and ASD. Learn more at lcdistraction.org. Landmark College. We teach differently. Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell with a mini-episode of of distraction. As everyone knows, years ago, Covey and Company came out with a very famous book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It became extremely famous, has sold probably gazillions of copies, probably printed into Martian by now. Anyway, I lifted that uh, that uh, motif and put it into my book, Delivered from Distraction, and came up with the seven habits of highly effective ADHD adults. And and so what I'm going to do is give you my take of what are at least seven habits of highly effective ADHD adults. The, you can add your own. Uh, certainly the point of it is to uh, come up with what works best for you and, and, and to make habits, make these habits if, if, you, if you possibly can. So number one, do what you're good at. Don't spend too much time trying to get good at what you're bad at. A lot of people with ADD spend a lifetime trying to get good at what you're bad at. And it's really sad to see. I mean, they have some sort of moral imperative that they, they, they're they going to, before they die, they want to become really good at accounting because they think they should. And as a result, they waste a lot of very precious time when they could be doing what they're good at trying to get good at what they're bad at. Big mistake. Number two, delegate what you're bad at to others as often as possible. Uh, You know, if you can't, uh, if you don't have anyone to delegate it to, then, then hire someone. But one way or another, pass off to someone else by delegation, by hiring, uh, whatever means you have, if possible, uh, delegate to others what you're bad at. Now, you can't delegate brushing your teeth. You know, there are some things that you just have to do yourself. But as much as possible, uh, have other people do what you're bad at. Connect your energy to a creative outlet. I, I call this the creative imperative. People with ADD really need a creative outlet. We do so much better when we have a creative outlet. The reason I write books if I don't have a book going, I get depressed. It's like a cow needs to be milked. I need to have a creative outlet. Really, really, really important. And I found that for most of us with ADD, this is essential. Uh, it's 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 more important than uh, almost anything in 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 bringing out our best. We really need a creative outlet. Number four, get well enough organized to achieve your goals. The key here is well enough. That doesn't mean you have to be really well organized at all. Just well enough organized to achieve your goals. So, so you don't want to have you don't want disorganization to keep you from reaching your goals. But it doesn't mean you have to be Martha Stewart and appear in House Beautiful. It doesn't mean you have to win the Promptness Award. You know, the school I went to, they always gave a Promptness Award. But that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure that disorganization does not prevent you from reaching your goals. That's the key. Well enough organized. Number five, ask for and heed advice from people you trust and ignore as best you can the dream breakers and finger waggers. Uh, An old friend of mine used to say, be a dream maker, not a dream breaker. Listen to the dream makers. Listen to the people who are encouragers, not discouragers. Now, of course, you don't want to be wildly unrealistic, but uh, I think it's better to go to your grave living off an unmet dream than go to your grave with a bunch of shattered dreams. Number six, make sure you keep up regular contact with a few close friends. Uh, Those of you who listened to me before know I'm big on what I call the other vitamin C, vitamin connect. Make sure you connect and stay in touch with a few close friends. Probably the most important thing or one of the most important things you can do in your life. 
uh, you know, the Surgeon General has named loneliness as the biggest medical problem in the United States today. Well, one of the great antidotes to loneliness is to stay in touch with friends. Now, if you don't have any friends, start making it a priority to, to make friends. Join a gym, join a synagogue, church, or other free place where people get together, a library, or a, you know, start frequenting a certain uh, convenience store, or a mom-and-pop store, or a restaurant, a any place where you can you can meet people, you know, the, and, and God, heaven knows the, online there are any number of chat rooms and uh, just try to try to make friends, keep up with friends. Uh, and of course, my favorite one of all, uh, which counts as a person is get a dog. And number seven, go with your positive side, even though you have a negative side, make decisions, run your life and present to the world your positive side as, as much as you can. Now, that doesn't mean you have to walk around with a smiley button. When you're having genuine conversations with other people, of course, be real. Let people know what you're really feeling. But but don't walk into a job interview and say, you know, I'm really second rate. You know, try to present uh, with your positive side. Well, those are the seven habits that I picked. You can pick your own. To recap, do what you're good at. Uh, delegate what you're bad at. Connect to a creative outlet. Get well enough organized to achieve your goals. Ask for and heed advice from people you trust. Make sure you keep up with a few close friends and go with your positive side. Those are the seven habits that I've chosen of highly effective ADHD adults. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell with a mini episode of Distraction. If you have a question for me or a show idea for us, email it to connect at distractionpodcast.com. Or better yet, call us and leave a voicemail. Call 844-55-CONNECT and leave us a message. We really look forward to hearing from you. We need to hear from you. We look forward to hearing from you. We want to hear from you. So 844-55-CONNECT or email at connect at distractionpodcast.com. Distraction is produced by Collisions, the podcast division of CRN International. Collisions, podcasts for curious people. Our sound engineers and editors are the wonderfully talented Pat Keogh and Chris Latham. And our producer is the multi-talented and unbelievably brilliant Sarah Curtin. <laughs>